What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Alpha Central. Let's get straight into it. I don't know which couples have to hear this, but if you're in a relationship and you're flirting with other people, that's... So now we're communicating over TikTok? <laughs> he's what he's like sitting right next to her. Huh. <laughs> this might be the most toxic couple <laughs> I've ever... It's the same couch. Is that the Starbucks pink drink? Yep, your favorite. If I can have Starbucks, nobody's having Starbucks. Babe, that was yours. I got that for you. Stupid. All right, close the door. We're going back. Now we're getting mine. If she did something... That's why I say women are children, bruv. They grow old, they never grow up. If you're not having it, then nobody can. This seems like a skit, though. I'm gonna keep it a buck, but, um... You know, at the end of the day, come on, ladies. Uh, you just walked away. Bro, I, I can't be doing this. Oh. No? Why? You're gonna leave me alone? Excuse me, sir. I have a question. Her dad must have been a carpenter. That thing looks flat on the back. Fired. Keep it a buck. Kiss or slap? You don't want to kiss me? Kiss or slap? Uh, slap. <laughs> no? Uh -huh. Rate me on a scale of 1 to 10. Zero. Why? That was really quick. I'm not really feeling it. You know what I'm saying? You're not feeling You're it? You're cool, though. Like, I'll f*** with you, but... I mean, I'd give her like a... I'd give her like a 5. But why not a uh, 10? Not my vibe. Not your vibe? Yeah, I'm not attracted to you like that. Damn. Excuse me, sir. I have a question. Kiss or slap? Kiss or slap? Yeah. What, you? No, I'm engaged. Really? Slap. Slap? <laughs> no. No? Are you sure? Yeah. Have a good day. Excuse me, sir. I have a question. Kiss or slap? You? Yeah. Uh, me either. Are you guys dating? Yeah. I can tell why she gave me a dirty look at that. What gets me is the- Why are you approaching men that are clearly in relationships? I mean, she did approach some guys that weren't in relationships, but- it's this whole OF, it's this entire like OF culture where these women are going out like with microphones and a dude videoing them. It's like kiss or slap this and that. It's like, God, it's just, we need to bring shame back. That's absolutely terrible. These women feel comfortable enough to go out there and actually do this with a camera and they don't feel bad at all. Stop. What's she doing? Stop. Stop. Go. Please stop. I hate you. I know. Please. You just said you liked your Stop. Message. No, stop. Stop. Please. Please leave. I hate you for comparing me to them. Please leave. I hate them. I know. Please leave. If you're nervous to approach. What? What was that all about? Comparing them to who? Approach someone because you feel like oh they might not like me or I don't want to get like shut down. What have you got to lose, honestly? Like if, if the if the girl's a bitch and she's nasty back, well you you've just dodged a bullet. And if she's not, if she's a normal nice person and she's not interested, she'll just politely say oh I'm so sorry I'm in a relationship. Or most women don't politely say chat. Let me know. Women are out there these days are so brutal. They're mean. They're like, ew, no, you're too short. Or, ew, no, you're ugly. Or, I bet you're poor. Like, women aren't like, you know what? No, thank you. You're not my type. Thank you so much. Most women aren't very polite. But chat, let me know. What do you think? I think women these days are just brutal with it. I'm so sorry. I'm not interested at this time. That's it. That's literally the worst that can happen. Best case scenario, you're sat there thinking, oh, this girl gets approached. No, worst case scenario is she says you're a creep. She tries to shame you publicly. She says that, you know, she can make up an allegation. There's a lot of things, actually, that could happen. The time, she wouldn't be interested in me. I'm telling you, we are interested. Single girls are interested. We, I don't know why people think that we're not interested. We want to have a conversation. We want to get to know you. How do we know we're not interested in you until you, like, have a conversation with us? I just, it is so refreshing when a man approaches you. Let me explain why guys may not approach you. So, well, he, well, the rise of Me Too stopped men approaching. Um, and also, a lot of you ladies aren't even approachable. And then you think that when we approach you, it's just all about you. We have to ask all the questions. We have to do all the work. Um, and at the end of the day, it's like you guys wanted equality, and now you're getting it. You want a relationship. You need to start approaching us. You need to be saying hey to us. Men are the prize. And chat, let me know if you agree with that. I think men are the prize. I think women can be a catch, but to me, a prize insinuates a dollar amount, insinuates money, and most of the time, women expect men to have money. Therefore, men are the prize. You ladies aren't the prize. You might be a catch, but I don't think you're the prize. You wanna buy me a drink? No. Oh, why? Because you're not gonna stick with me. Response is perfect. <laughs> like, <laughs> 
you're not gonna sleep with me. <laughs> I want to buy Gary a drink simply because of that response. Like, who's trying to get turned with Gary? Bros aging and you still me isn't simping over these girls. Looking like Fiona from Shrek. $100. 24, 23, uh, 25, 21. All wrong. Okay, bring me out of 10. Two, seven. I'll give you a two. Yeah, I'll give you a two as well. Well, I was going to give you all $100 each, but since you rated me a two, you get nothing. Got a muscles, uh, I got a muscles two way, so. Dang, they really gave her. Bro, what is with this girl? Yeah, what do you think? Like, yeah. I, I, I hate, I hate that voice. <laughs> What is she doing? Oh, you're making me nervous. <laughs> hey, don't be nervous. Be at their service, baby. Put it on a t-shirt. <laughs> I'm trying to kiss you. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. I'm trying to kiss you. He's like, why? Bro really said, why? Bro, she's mid. I'm trying to kiss you. Well, how about this? Don't. Hey, I'll stand here for free. Uh, Oi, no. No? Stay away from me. <laughs> Just stay away. <laughs> what is what is that? The pants pulled over? What is is this the new trend? She's dressed like somebody from uh, Scooby Doo. That's what it's giving Shaggy. I'm gonna keep it a buck. You think you can riz me up? Was this Duke Dennis? I mean, not really. Why? Just don't want to. Why would I? Why would I want to? He simply didn't want to. You can perfect response actually. When a woman's like, "You think you could pull me?" Be like, "Nah. Why not? I don't want to. I don't even like you. You're not even cute." Stuff like that would actually work. Would I rate myself? I mean, I'm a mother. Oh, no, stop. Yeah. Can you give us a spin? Stop. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh! What if I? I spin if I want to spin. I'll spin around you. <laughs> All right. I give you a Girl. Bottle. <laughs> Body built like yogurt. Fire. What are you talking about? Uh, a 10? A good about 5.5. .5. My man. I don't nah. care what you. What? And you shouldn't care. I, I would say a four. I'd give her a four. She's a little tall. I'm, I, but I think he's a short king. You could have a hundred hoes. But when you find that special one, you have a hundred and one. <laughs> <laughs> you get out. I thought you were going to say something nice. <laughs> well, that took. But women like that stuff, bro. Like I say, like I always say, I do things that get results, not things that are deemed nice. Oh, oh, oh Lord, have mercy. That is honest. Think if a dude came up to a chick, tongue out like, ah, he'd be canceled. He'd be on the news the next day. But you ladies can just willy nilly and do it. It's crazy to me. All you have to do is just get a guy's number. Get a guy's. Just get a guy's number. Yeah. Oh, I love this one. How are you? Because I never oh, can. Uh, can I, I get you. your number? My number? Yeah. Nah. My mom. <laughs> Look, he's looking around like, ah, I don't know, man. Mom said. A stranger danger, somebody help me! Yo! Yo! That can't be me! That's crazy! Boy, you did good, you did good. No, now I want your number. I don't know! Oh, you actually want a number? Make up for it. I gotta tell you to see you. No, I want a one! Yo! These guys are so funny. He cooked her twice. All these chicks that go out and think they can get numbers, like, it's a lot harder than you think. Here's what I, let me guys put you on game real quick while Loki chews on some beef jerky. Loki, you want a beef jerky? Free. Sit. Wait. Free. Go to your place. Here's what you always do. You never go for the number first. You want to know why? It's too much of a commitment for a girl. You always go for the IG or the Snapchat. Depending on what you, you know, what age you are or whatever. I know a lot of older guys are like, I don't do Snapchat, I don't do IG. Um, but don't ask for WhatsApp, that's weird. Um, even though it's more common now, and I I would never ask for a WhatsApp, I would always ask for an IG. And if you're like, well, Levi, my IG's really not cooking like that. I'm really not cooking on the gram, bruv. Uh, here's what you need to do. Go take some, like, get in, get in the house, go take some, like, basic selfies, 
and then go get on Remini. It's an app called Remini. And you can basically upload that and AI will put you in like a nice suit in front of a nice car. Upload those on IG and have like maybe six or 10 photos. Boom, you got that. You can put those on your dating profile as well. If these women are comfortable enough having filters and wearing makeup, we need to be comfortable enough using AI to make us look good. They want a catfish? We can do the same thing. We'll start calling it ratfish. <laughs> Batfish, Slapfish, whatever you want to call it. Go get on Remini. It's an app. R-E-M-I-N-I. -I, Remini. You can upload like basic selfies with bad lighting and it'll put you, AI will put you in front of like a dank car, put you in a suit, make you look really good. Um, highly suggest doing this for LinkedIn photos and then dating apps. If you're not photogenic, things like that, because girls are going to be like, well, you don't look like your pictures. And you'd be like, neither do you. What are you even freaking talking about? Shots fired. They can play the game, we can play the game as well. So that's, I just had to put you guys on game real quick. Um, but then always get a girl's gram because the buy-in is lower. That's why I always say take a girl out on a coffee date, go to a bakery, do something low, like a low effort, and then do it on like a Thursday. Something like that. And if the date, if that date goes well, do it earlier on in the day, don't do it in the evening. If that date goes well, like, hey, let's go get dinner. If that date goes well, come back and clap the cheeks. That's what you gotta do. Um, but it's a progression. Did you already finish that thing? He eats so fast, bro. Let me, let me hold on, what'd you say? <laughs> Did you say comedian? Turn these lights off right now, I swear to God. <laughs> What's well, the comedian in red flag? You don't like funny guys? I want to be the funniest one. You want to be the funniest one? You losing already. This is not a good stuff. <laughs> What's that? I don't have a stage. You don't have a stage? I feel like you dance on one. <laughs> Not a compliment. It's not a compliment. I'd be pissed if my was like not. <laughs> Matt Rife's crowd work. <laughs> Matt Rife's crowd work is so top tier. He was absolutely. He's, he, dude, he, his crowd work is so good. I've seen some of his other stand up. Wasn't a huge fan of it, but his crowd work, unreal. I'm Austin. Shay. Shay? You said? Yeah. Nice a to pleasure. meet you. Yeah, it was real nice to meet you. What, is, what do you do? What does your life look like? Bro, chat. Just, let's just go back for a second. Be right there. Hello. Would you ever go for a girl like this? This is why I always say the frogs in the Amazon, the poisonous ones, they always have crazy colors to, to warn you that they're nuts and that they could hurt you. <laughs> Like, I don't know if this is a wig or if this is her real hair. It's probably a wig, but like, I am not attracted to this. Chat, let me know. Are you attracted to crazy colored hair? Personally, I like natural colored hair, whether it's blonde, brunette. I don't discriminate. I'm Shay. But I do discriminate against these highlighter colors. Shay? You said? Yeah. Nice it's to pleasure. meet you. Yeah, it was real nice to meet you. What, is, what do you do? What does your life look like? I'm a manager at a primary care, and right after work, I like to get a run in, do some plates. Do you have any other hobbies? Hobbies. Uh, I can't really say I'm that. Uh. Chat, let me know your hobbies right now. Put them in the chat, put them in the comments. I want to know what you guys are into. Whether it's video games, going to the gym, cooking, whatever. Let me know your hobbies. The fact that you don't have any other hobbies. I'm a very creative person, I guess. My life is never. Oh my gosh. Because I'm a creative person? No, I just. You're not cute. Sorry. Ouch. Ouch. Shots <laughs> fired! <laughs> he cooked her. <laughs> It's, uh, you're just not cute. I'm not cute? She tried absolutely Bro, got he it. cooked her. You aren't cute. It is what it is. You are so beautiful. I think Latina women are, like, the most beautiful girls in the world. Nah, Lebanese women, man. They are drop-dead gorgeous. Excuse me? Lebanese women, they're probably the most beautiful in the world, no doubt. Um, yeah. I don't think I heard you correctly. Nah, you did. Like, Lebanese women are off the Ish. train, dude. What? I'm going to give you one more chance to correct yourself. Why would I correct myself? I didn't say anything wrong. Lebanese women are fucking beautiful, dude. Then like, why don't you go find a Lebanese woman? What the fuck are you doing with me? I couldn't find a Lebanese woman, so I settled for you. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. I mean, <laughs> I couldn't find a Lebanese woman. So I've honestly never seen a Lebanese woman. Um, so I don't know. Chad, who has the most beautiful? I thought like Sweden and Russia had the most beautiful women because the Vikings took over. Walmart and this girl was standing between me and my door. I was like trying to get to my car. She just wasn't moving. I was like, excuse me. She was like, you don't want my number? And I was like, no. She was like, what, you don't think I'm cute? And I was like, I mean, you good looking or whatever, but I'm not interested. And then she was like, you got a girlfriend or something? 
I said no. She was like, then why don't you take my number? I was like, I'm just not interested. And then she called me a ass. That's what they do. Or, or they go straight with the homophobic slurs. They call you gay or something like that. So that's how my day going. I feel bad for this guy, honest. So that's what I'm saying. Like that's, and you ladies wonder why we don't approach y'all. It's because y'all are straight up mean with it. Speed reject scroll WRL. Well, I don't know about y'all, but I just, there's no appeal to the club anymore. You go in there, it stinks, everybody's sweating, it's hot, it's cramped, it's it's every, it's super loud. Like, bruh, I'd much rather take a night at the crib over the club any day. Chat, what about you? Greetings. What's going on here? What's happening in here? What did you do to it? <laughs> Nothing. What? Oh, did he get a haircut? She was literally drooling over. What did you do to it? I don't, I don't even know what's going on. The context of this video, I lost. But I'm also dumb. Stupid. The meanest thing a man has ever said to you. After my divorce, I got on Tinder. I met this super cute guy. He went on a date. Single mom. Went back to my house, had a couple drinks. We're sitting on the couch. Things started getting a little spicy. She's a runner, she's a track star. I love it when a woman tells her bop lore. Chat, put some bop lores in the chat. Oh, I love it. So we went back to my room. He took off his shirt and then proceeded to get me completely naked and stopped, looked at me while I'm laying on the bed, wondering what's going on. And he said to me, your body is not what I was expecting and I'm not gonna- <laughs> <That's fired! laughs> Yeah, it's just not there. Uh, you look like melted yogurt. It's just not, I don't know. You're just, it's not really my vibe. I thought you would look better. What a king. To be able to get it up for you. I was shocked and embarrassed, almost in hysterics from being so pissed off. And I literally threw him out of my house. So you cannot accept the fact that he didn't want you as soon as he saw you naked. But you want us to accept the fact that you don't want us because of our size mm. or how tall we is. So Preach it's like, King. we know that we have to work harder for women to find us attractive. You don't accept the fact that you have to look truly really appealing, plus more for us to find you attractive. I don't understand. Dang. That is Being attractive is a prerequisite, and I feel like a lot of women don't realize this. And then, this goes back to the whole thing of, like, male body count versus female body count, while, like, it's so much harder for a guy to have a high body count because men have to understand women to sleep with them. Women don't have to understand men to sleep with them. Chat, let me know if you agree. But like, as guys, we have to have a base level of understanding of the psychology of what a woman thinks and what she, you know, how she operates and how she moves about. If we don't understand them at all, we can't clap the cheeks. But women, you don't have to really have any game. You can just kind of be there and guys will just like flock around you. That's why I say men have to understand women to sleep with them, but women don't have to understand men. Oh my God, can I have one? You got Can the I have this? You got the tomatoes, bro. This is black excellence. I need this. Oh, I want one of your charms. Yeah, Actually, yeah. you know what's a better charm? What? You and your oh. number and my phone. Can I have it? Bro was like, nah, I'm I out. Mean, and the thing is, for me, it's always a it's always a big red flag when a woman's like giving up her number or wanting to get your number. It's just like easy women usually aren't. I don't know. The juice ain't typically worth the squeeze. Slap. Slap. He said no, what the hell? <laughs> excuse me guys, excuse me guys, kiss or slap? Slap. Slap, bet. Oh, not that. What? Nah. He said nah. <laughs> this girl has got to relax. At some is that, is that, is that, uh, is that, is that Neon's girl? That Sam Frank girl? She's not built, I thought she would build better than that. Daddy was definitely not Bob the Builder. Did you know the world is flat? No. It actually is because you're my world. Say that again? I said the world is flat. Say that again? <laughs> Say that again? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be I <laughs> said the world is flat because you're my world. <sighs> when you're okay, let's, this is the uh this is the sprinkle sprinkle lady. Coffee date. You're literally wasting money. You're going you're getting dressed up and putting on twenty dollar lipstick, hundred dollar perfume, spending an hour 
on your makeup, putting on a nice outfit that may cost a lot, putting on your shoes, driving to your car for gas, and then you show up at Starbucks for a $5 cup of coffee. So you have hygiene products as well. So this is why I say don't go on coffee dates because it means you're low maintenance. Sprinkle. Yeah, and that's ex yeah, and that's what us as men want. Chat, let me know. Would you rather have a girl who's high maintenance or low maintenance? Low maintenance is what I like. Cass was low maintenance when I met her for the first time. She wasn't even wearing makeup. That's when I knew she was confident, and I was like, "Yes, this is the kind of woman I can uh, get behind, figuratively <laughs> and literally." Go. I did forty seconds. Shake my head. She didn't even know. I just pulled out and said, "Nah, you're not ready for this," and got dressed. <laughs> You ain't ready for this. Man to man in the privacy of our own studio. I've done that before. No, you have not. I promise no. you. I pulled out and I felt my tool just log off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm just in there like. <laughs> Beat it all down. <laughs> At windows. You're not ready. You're not ready. You're not ready. She's like, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Smack. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smack. Roll over. Smack. And she Smack. can roll, roll, roll. And I'm there like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Come back. I feel like that's happened to a lot of guys, bro. I really do. I feel like that. I've I've definitely pulled the you're not ready for this. Let's hop into the subreddit and see what we got. Uh, cultural news. OF304 cooked after calling men insecure for not dating her. Let's see here. Oh, this is a long one. Okay, we'll have to save this one for the next one. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Loki, did you have a good time? He looked like he had a riveting time. Um, go cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality. I think we've sold over 70 copies, so shout out to you guys. The book makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace!